talking about healthcare. Why should people care about the overall state of healthcare in the country? Why do these trends matter? Well, healthcare is the single biggest part of GDP uh, in this country. Uh, it's you know close to twenty percent of GDP uh, is spent on healthcare, so it's big. And if you look at it on a household basis, it's really big. Well, it's the biggest single household expense. Now, most people say, "Oh, no, 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 that's not true. I don't spend that much on healthcare." But what they're forgetting is their employer or their government is spending it on their behalf. So if you look at all the money that is somehow used by individuals in this country, by far the biggest piece goes to, goes to health care. It forces you to ask the question, is all this money we're spending actually getting us healthier? So in the last 20 years, the average age at which people are dying has gone up from 72.3 years to 72.9 years. So while people are forecasted to live longer, for all that additional money we're pumping into healthcare, it's not buying us much additional longevity today. You get those cancer treatments and all of this stuff, add it together, and it's giving you 0.6 years, ha- you know, just over half a year. Um, is it giving us higher quality of life? Maybe, I can't, I can't comment, I can't assess. And I'm not gonna say the spending is not worthwhile. Certainly if it's one of my loved ones, I tend to spend. But if you look at it overall and ask the question, uh, is this what people want? Would people spend their money increasingly on this or get their employers to do it for them or get their government to do them for it for them the way the insurance programs work? I don't know. We need to confront them with the facts and let people then draw their own conclusions. Here's, here's a thought for you. Um, at my old employer, Microsoft, we would spend uh, between, t- at the time I left, I think five years ago, we were spending about, call it tw- uh, 12000 10000 to 12000 dollars per employee. If you take a look at it and you said to many employees, do you really want to have that amount of money or would you per- prefer us to give you $5,000 back and have a weaker form of insurance, uh, I can, I can, guess what the answer might have been, but it's an interesting way to ask the question of how people want to balance these things. The other issue you have in healthcare is where does the pressure come on the system to reduce cost? If you take a look at any other product, uh, your favorite PC, phone, the consumer's out there every day buying, and they're asking, they're demanding lower prices. When somebody builds a lower price device, they can see it rise in in sales. None of that dynamic really works in healthcare. Things are very distributed. Again, we may like our system, but it does lead to higher costs, and it does lead to uh, a situation in which people are not necessarily trading off their money or their employer's money on their behalf the way they might have. People on their own devices are actually putting themselves in a more precarious health position than they did in 2000. So people are choosing to be less healthy, and we are choosing to spend a lot more money on health care. There's some, there's some uh, split personality uh, in this. Again, I'm not saying what's right or wrong, but it's certainly fair to say the voluntary choices that people make are going the opposite direction than the choices they're making with their healthcare spending. 